readers welcome back to book talks i am nishkanda today we have a lovely guest with us shreya from science gali hello shreya welcome to book talks hello she is a science enthusiast who loves electronics and circuit designing she has her own channel science gali she has read many books on science and today she is here with us to share her experience on the book the boy who harnessed the wind so shreya please tell us what this book is all about this is a remarkable true story of an african boy who achieved his dream with his strong determination despite his adverse conditions wow that sounds interesting please tell us more about the main character of the book yes sure He is William Kamtawamba, a boy born to a poor family in the small village of Masitala in an African country, Malawi. Here the people were very superstitious and believers of magic, and here science was a mystery. Oh, then the book must be having the description of the African countryside. Yes. Once the Malawi village suffered a drought, and consequently William and his family. had no money they had nothing to eat or sell either and william had to drop out of school since his parents had no money to pay his fees but his interest in science urged him to learn by reading the books in the library what is special about william like every other child william also had an inquisitive mind and wanted to generate electricity his toys were old radios and discarded batteries According to me his special trait is his crave for learning. Hmm. Did he get success in generating the electricity? Yes, he did. But behind this is an interesting story. He faced a lot of challenges. William had no money to buy the materials required for designing the windmill. He also had no tutors or teachers to explain the concepts such as voltage, AC, DC, etc. In spite of all these difficulties that William faced, he designs a windmill from uh, scrap parts, scrap tractor parts, motor, discarded batteries found in the garbage yards. Oh, it must be really difficult for the boy. Yes. Did William's success make any difference to his family and community? Yes, certainly. It had a profound impact on the Kamkawamba family and community. But I'm leaving this part for the readers as they will enjoy as they read through the book. Okay. How did you come across this book? Whenever I want to read a book, I Google search or get recommendations from my friends and family. But this book was gifted to me from my father and I liked it very much. Which age group do you think this book is for? In this book there are a few scientific concepts but other than that the language used in the book is pretty simple so i think anyone above the age of 10 can easily read the book Will you recommend this book to the readers and why Yes certainly i will I felt this book was really motivating and inspiring so i recommend it to the readers It was nice talking to you Shreya thank you for being with us It was a pleasure This is all about the boy who harnessed the wind. I'll be back with one more interesting book for you in the next video. Until we meet, bye bye.